Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 24th of 2023 well, it is titled Jones Emerson 1. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. And a planetary nebula is what will occur at the end of the life of a star, much like our own sun. And in fact, most stars in the universe are expected to go through this stage. The only ones that wouldn't are those very massive stars that will end their lives as supernovae exploding outward in a very violent explosion. On the other hand, a planetary nebula is a much less violent way for a star to end its life. And in fact, it kind of separates out into two pieces. And the outer layers that we see here in the red in the nebula are the outer layers of the star that have been expelled out into space. So when a star reaches a close to the end of its life, like our sun, its core will collapse down and the outer layers will expand and eventually the sun will become a giant star and then a super giant star. Those outer layers not being as tightly held are subject to instabilities and can then be expelled outward into space. So that's what has happened here. And those stars, which were once uh, the sorry, those ne the nebula that was once part of that star is now much larger than our own solar system. And in fact, goes about four light years across. So from one edge of this to the other is about the same as the distance between our sun and Alpha Centauri. That's how far this star has now expanded several light years in each direction. Now at the core we see a bluish star that is a white dwarf star and what it is is the core left over after the star gave off its outer layers. That core is incredibly hot and will be extremely high temperature emitting a lot of ultraviolet light and that's what energizes the nebula. Now it will not remain like this forever. It will slowly change. That white dwarf will cool, but that's a very slow process taking billions of years. And eventually stars like the white dwarf cooled off to a black dwarf will then dominate the types of material in the universe if we wait many billions of years uh, until all the stars have gone through their lives. So if we come back in trillions of years, then most stars will be white dwarfs or will have cooled off into black dwarfs. The, the nebula itself will only last another five or 10,000 years or so as it slowly expands out into space and it becomes more and more diffuse and will be next to impossible to see. Also, as the star does slowly cool, it's, it gives off less energy to be able to energize that nebula. Now, interestingly, as you look through the nebula, you can now see behind it and you can see a number of galaxies within it. So we see stars there as well, but we can also see distant galaxies well beyond uh, Jones Emerson Emerson one, which are way off in the distance and just happen to be located along that same line of sight. So that was our picture of the day for February 24th of 2023. It was titled Jones Emerson 1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Moonset. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.